Hello everybody, welcome back to another moving vlog. It's so echoey in here, let me go in another room. Okay, let's see if this is any better. Well, hello everybody, once again, welcome back to another moving vlog. Today is our first full day in the new apartment and I didn't actually vlog anything yesterday after I did the little apartment tour because I was absolutely exhausted. Last night we went and picked up like some food, like microwavable foods to eat just to stock up our fridge and freezer a little bit. Then we we almost immediately came into some issues that were self-imposed issues. Nothing's wrong with the apartment. We each showered and realized that we did not have any towels. So we had to air dry, which was not ideal. And then as we were going to bed, we realized we did not have any pillows. So I don't know if I talked about this, but we ended up using some like old stained throw pillows that we had in the old apartment on the air mattress. And when we were packing to leave, we just didn't have room for them in our suitcases and we were planning on throwing them out anyway because like I said they were old and stained. We ended up tossing them and then we didn't think about it until we were about to go to bed and we were like oh my gosh we don't have any pillows. We stuffed our pillowcases with clothing and we slept on those which was incredibly uncomfortable. So Today we popped on over to Target and we picked up some supplies, which I'm about to give you a little haul because I realized there was a lot of stuff missing. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you that. It's a little bit dark in here because believe it or not, it has been storming all day, which is kind of wild. So I thought it was really interesting that our like first day here was a super rainy day. It's a little dark out, but it's fine. Let me show you what I got. Let's sit right here. I'll give you a little Target haul, show you all the stuff that we totally forgot. I also ordered some stuff on on Amazon and we did pick up a couple of things yesterday at Walmart. So we got a couple of hand soaps for our bathrooms. I don't remember what else. Honestly, I'm very tired. <laughs> we did not sleep well. But yeah, let me show you what I got from Target and then I'll also talk to you about the stuff that I ordered that hopefully you will see in this vlog because they're coming this week. I'm very excited about them. First of all, we each got a pillow. They did not have a great pillow selection at Target, but we just got the firmest ones that they had. These are the overfilled extra firm. It doesn't say like who it's best for, but we do like a firm pillow. We also grabbed a plush blanket because one, I don't know if I mentioned this actually, I might've mentioned it in my last moving vlog. We also do not have a blanket on our air mattress. We're just sleeping with a sheet. And we did need a new throw for the living room because we always need new throws for the living room. So we just picked one up that would match and this one is a full slash queen size. We also got a couple of new pans because we did throw out our pans in the old apartment. We still had our like pots, like the sauce pots, but we needed a couple of flat pans because ours were so scratched up on the bottom that we were actually like getting little bits in our food so we held on to those and we used them during the week while we didn't have any of our stuff so I got this KitchenAid one they feel really fancy like this is definitely the fanciest pans I've ever had which is not saying that much because they weren't that expensive but I was excited about them I'm still excited I grabbed another hand soap because I realized that we have three sinks in this apartment <laughs> So we needed a third one. So they had this metal dish stringer. I think this is so pretty though. It's basic, but I mean, I've just never seen a metallic one before. I always see the plastic ones. And then we got a little pad to put under it, a little drying mat. So I just got a gray one. Okay, let me show you the bathroom supplies. So we have two bathrooms and we wanted to get some new stuff for it because our old stuff was just a little too old. So we got a little thing for our toothbrushes. I thought this was nice because my least favorite thing is when you have a toothbrush cup and then like the inside gets all like, I don't wanna say crusty, but you know, like sometimes you get like a little bit of like dried toothpaste down there and it's really gross. I just feel like this would be easier to clean with. So it's like metal on the top, it's black on the bottom. It's Threshold brand. A couple of black trash cans. Ugh, I don't think I can get these apart, honestly. We did in the store, but I'm not really, I don't have a good grip on this. Okay, well, whatever, you'll see. There's two of them. <laughs> we did get a new toilet brush cleaner thingy. I also got this little basket thingy for the corner of the shower and it comes with like a couple of little suction cups on the inside. So that's what it looks like. It's gonna look like this in the shower and then it goes up against the corner. Then we got a couple of bath mats in our primary bedroom. We actually have like a little glass partition thing. We showered in it last night and it didn't end up splashing out or anything. So I don't think we need like an actual shower curtain there. I didn't get one for there. And then in the other bathroom, we can 
use our old one, which was just a black shower curtain. In one of the bathrooms, we got this bath mat, which I think is so pretty. Probably gonna put this in the primary bathroom because I like to have the pretty one in my bathroom. It's just called bath rug. I don't know. None of these have specific names, but I can link anything uh, down in the description. And then we also got this gray one that I thought would be pretty nice to go with the black shower curtain. Actually, it might be this side. I really just wanted one that was like easier to wash. The ones that I used to have had like foam on the bottom. And I don't know, I really did not like the way that they felt when I put them through the washer. I got these like really collapsible ones that you can just throw in. But, I mean, you could throw the other ones in, but I don't know, they just felt weird. So yeah, this is another Threshold brand. This one's called Performance Bath Rug. So maybe this one's fancier, but I don't know. I like the white one better. We do have a couple of towels, but we figured we would buy some new ones because it's been a few years since we have gotten new towels. We got one set with a gray towel and then a gray hand towel. And for the guest bathroom, we're gonna do a black towel to match the black shower curtain. We also got a black hand towel. That'll be like a nice little extra set to have. In the meantime, before our stuff arrives, we have a towel that we can use so we don't have to air dry. I also got a new Swiffer. And then, I think this might be the last thing, a new coffee maker. This is the Mr. Coffee Five Cup Mini Brew. This was like $18 and the one that we had, we've had for like four or five years. And it was another one that was like $20. So it was getting real old and gross. But yeah, so that's all the stuff that we got for the immediate needs in the apartment. And then I ordered some stuff on Amazon. So obviously I ordered toilet paper because we need that. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what else I ordered off of Amazon, but I did order some new furniture. So let's talk about that. Let me, let me move this stuff and then we'll talk about it for a little bit. It is very quickly getting kind of dark out between all the clouds and you know, it's it's getting late. It's actually 726, which means it's 1026 in my brain because I'm still right around East Coast time. But yeah, so we're gonna just continue putting this stuff away for now. And then I will probably update you I don't think I'm gonna have any more updates tonight. Our furniture and everything from the movers and our cars should also arrive this week. So a lot's gonna be happening this week. So I'm just gonna bring you along for the journey. But yeah, so that's today's update. Hi, Editing Kelly here. I was clearly deliriously tired when I started this vlog and I did promise that I would show you the furniture that I ordered and I totally forgot to do that. So I'm gonna show you really quick right now the pieces of furniture that I ordered and then we will continue the vlog because it is important for context. <laughs> so I did buy some patio furniture, the first was this giant papasan chair. Then we also ordered a little patio set. So it was two chairs, a little cushion, and then a small table. Then I also ordered a desk chair. We ordered a couple of bar stools for the kitchen island slash peninsula. And then I also ordered a set of really nice plates because I saw them on Wayfair and I thought they were absolutely irresistible. So all of the stuff here, except for those bar stools were from Wayfair. The two bar stools were from Amazon. Anyway, let's get back to the vlog. Oh, so it's been a couple days. I am so confused with Wayfair right now because I just got a couple of very weird notifications. I noticed that I had a few packages at the door, so I just carried them in and I checked the Wayfair website and it said that one package was returned because it was the wrong address, which I don't know what's happening with that one. My big chair that I ordered for outside, it says it was delivered, but it was not. And then I have one thing that says it hasn't even shipped yet, and that's what arrived. And then I also have my Amazon bar stools. So this is the first package. This appears to be my desk chair. That said it didn't even ship yet, so I don't understand. I also got this box, which is from Amazon. I'm pretty sure this is just some stuff that we needed. Is the bar stools from Amazon also, but I can't, it looks like there's just one. I don't know. There's supposed to be two. I'm exhausted already. Okay, good news. It looks like there are two in this box, which thank goodness because I need a chair. I'm so tired of sitting on the floor. <laughs> okay, so quick update. I just called the Wayfair customer service because I had another chair that was meant to arrive today that it said was delivered. And that was a little patio chair that I was very excited about, still excited about. But anyway, so apparently there was a mix up with the tracking numbers. They have not sent out the other chair yet. So we've got another week for that one to arrive, but at least we have 
the office chair and we've got the bar stools. So we're probably gonna build those today, hopefully, because I am just tired of sitting on the floor. I'm really looking forward to having those. So I guess I'll wait until Ryan is done with work and then we can work on it together so I don't mess anything up. <laughs> Okay, so here is what the chairs look like. This is the little box that it came in. So it came with two chairs and I just pulled them out of the box just to see if they match the vibe. So it's actually a gray velvet. So it's incredibly soft. It's a nice, really light color. And then these stands are supposed to be black. I haven't double checked that in the box. And I think they're so cute. And oh my gosh, I am just really excited to have a chair to sit in instead of the floor because we have been sitting on the floor for quite a few days now in New Jersey and now in Nevada. <laughs> we're just, we're all about the floor right now. So very excited to put these together, but we're probably gonna do that tonight. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. We just have to run some errands now that the work day is done and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll make these chairs. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. We did our errands. We went for some in and out and now we are sufficiently full and ready to tackle this furniture. So let's do that. So casually keep Turns out this is actually super easy to install. It literally is just four little screws and then that's it. <laughs> Okay, that took like five minutes and they're so cute. And they swivel around and you can also raise them. And I just love the feel of them. They feel so nice. So, all right, onto the office chair. This is the uh, instruction manual for the chair. And I gotta say, if they didn't want people to push each other around it, then they shouldn't have made it look so fun. Alrighty, so here is the chair. I love the color, I think it looks beautiful. And it's actually really comfortable, but the only thing is, this is super scratched up. I don't know if you can see it too well. Let me zoom in. Yeah, look at that. That's how it came in the box. So not pleased with that, but it was relatively inexpensive. And I think just that one little scratch, I don't think it's worth exchanging. Whatever, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Hello friends, it's the next day. I am feeling a little conflicted today. I'm very pleased with the bar stools that we got and I'm currently sitting on my office chair, which I love. So I'm very happy to not be sitting on the floor anymore. What a difference that has made for my back, even though I am currently slouching. I've been able to sit up straight and it's very nice, but I just got some unfortunate news about the moving stuff. So our cars were supposed to come today and we were really looking forward to it. We kind of timed so that we would run out of food today and then we could go to the grocery store tonight with our cars. We have had to go run a couple of errands just to pick up stuff. So we have been taking rideshare services. So we were looking forward to that. I mean, we didn't specifically plan for our food to run out, but we thought we would only need food for like half a week. So that's what we purchased. But I just got an update from them that now our cars aren't coming for another five days, which is a lot. And that's a lot for living in a place that's not particularly walkable, especially when it's over 100 degrees out. And then I also just called the movers to see if they had an estimate. And it turns out that they're not coming for another week. So we're just gonna be here for another full week, even though it's already been five days, we're gonna be here for another full week without any of our stuff and without our cars. So that's super frustrating. I think one of the Wayfair packages might be coming today with more packages patio furniture. So at least that'll be nice. We'll have somewhere to sit. I mean, it's it's so far out. I, I just feel like we're wasting so much money on like picking up food and, you know, doing lifts. So I think it might be a smart idea to lift to a grocery store and pick up a good amount of food and then maybe like a couple of pots stuff we can use because it's just getting to be really, really expensive. So yeah, I'm just a little frustrated today, but it's totally fine. I mean, I'm just sitting here looking out at this beautiful view and totally worth it because this place is absolutely gorgeous. 
The apartment is absolutely gorgeous. Aside from not having our stuff, we're incredibly happy here. This is something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time, but oh man, is it frustrating. <laughs> uh, so anyway, if any other furniture arrives today, I will definitely give you an update, but right now, just feeling the frustration, you know? Okay, I'm a little bit happier now. It's been a couple of hours and I just got some more packages from Wayfair, so let's open them. I'm very excited to get my patio furniture. This, I believe, is my new plateware that I ordered. It's gonna be so hard to open. Oh, do you? See how gorgeous this is? There's a few different colors. So they're all shades of blue and they are dishwasher and microwave safe. So I'm gonna put them in the dishwasher. Look at this deep blue one. Oh, how beautiful is that? This one has some scratches on it. That's okay. Oh man, there's scratches on this one too. It's very minor though. So here, I just laid out all of the colors so you can see. They probably look very similar on camera, but this one is the lightest and they all have this really gorgeous like brown edge. I just can't get over these. I think they're so beautiful. And then we have this package, which is what I have been the most excited for, my Papasan chair for outside. So let's open this one up. days I have not given you updates. Don't mind the fact that I'm sitting on the air mattress and the sheets are half off of it. Sometimes when we sit on it like the edges just pop off but whatever. Not that many more days but anyway I'm very excited today. This is the first day that I've put on makeup and like actually dressed cute instead of in glorified pajamas because we had some great stuff happen this morning. One our cars came. I realized when I posted my last few days in New Jersey vlog that I never told you what I was doing with our cars. So we actually had them shipped across the country. We had like, you know, one of those car transports that ships like a bunch of cars. So we had that. They came this morning and they finally gave us our cars and we could not be happier because let me tell you, we've spent a lot of money on rideshare services because we keep on having to go run errands. Like I had to pick up two cashier's checks, which were not walking distance. So we had to take a lift there. And then we were also out of food and then we didn't have like certain things that we absolutely needed. So we've had to take quite a few lifts, but we're trying our best to save as much as we could for once we got our cars. And now that we have our cars, we're gonna go do a little grocery run. And we're also gonna go to Target and get more necessities that we need to pick up. So that's what we're doing today. And then I also got another bit of great news this morning, which is that my other patio furniture has finally been delivered. We were having a little bit of an issue with the shipment for some reason. It kept on not getting delivered, but it's finally here. So I ordered two patio chairs and a little mini table so that we could just sit out there and eat lunch and stuff. And I also ordered an outdoor rug, by the way, which did not arrive because I ordered that only a couple days ago. So we're about to head to Target. It's going to be very fun. We're finally going to be able to pick up a lot of the stuff we needed. We did have a few things, but there was some stuff that we just didn't want to have to either walk back or put in somebody else's lift because we didn't want to get too much stuff and be too much of an inconvenience. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff we're picking up today. And then we're also going to get more groceries. We had some food. I showed you guys some clips of me making our little tofu stir fry last night, which actually ended up being pretty delicious, but that was pretty much all the fresh food that we had. We're finally going to get some fresh food. Let's, uh, let's head to Target. <laughs> What is the difference between these two? This one's dates, cashews, chocolate chips, and sea salt. And this one's cashews, dates, chocolate chips, and sea salt. All you need is a spark. 
Hello, we are back on the floor for another Target haul. We have come full circle. So we just picked up some other random stuff that we needed. We also went to the grocery store and picked up some produce, but we did forget to get pasta and rice, which we kind of need. So we might go back out, but I don't know if we're doing it today. But anyway, let me show you the stuff that I got at Target. For starters, I saw that they had these gray cutting boards and I thought they were so cute. I do have the same brand of cutting board, which is just like the Target brand, but mine are really scratched up. So I figured it might be nice to have some new ones. And also our stuff isn't coming until Tuesday now, so. May as well. I did get some new baking sheets. I think I have one that's still good that's in the in the stuff that we've packed, but I figured we should use a little bit more. I'm really, I'm really justifying all of this. We got this one 1.5 quart pot. Brian and I are always cooking like two separate little things at the same time, and we always fight over who gets the small pot. So we just got a second one. Oh, I got some snacks. I wanted to get some cranberry juice because I think it's delicious, and I almost always drink water but sometimes I'm like I get in this mood I don't know if anybody else gets like this but sometimes I just get in a mood where I'm like I do not want to drink water right now it sounds disgusting so I got cranberry juice for that all that they had I'm assuming these are like the the Target brand Lara bars and I love Lara bars so I picked up the chocolate chip cookie dough and the lemon bar so we'll see if those are good we got an oven mitt that has the little silicone innards because Ryan says that these are better. We got some more Swiffer wipe thingies, contact solution. We got a second toilet bowl cleaner. I got one in the last Target haul. But anyway, we figured we needed a second one. Oh, we also got a lighter because we bought a bunch of candles. Well, not a bunch, we bought three. We also got this cooler. It's just a little cooler. It holds 16 cans. We saw this candle. It was on sale for like two or three dollars and it smells incredible. It's called Blueberry Cobbler. It was on sale and it's the best smelling candle. Oh my gosh. It literally smells like a blueberry cobbler. It smells incredible. And then we got two others because they have these Zodiac candles for two dollars each. I'm not like a big Zodiac person, but I do think it's fun. So we got the Cancer one, which is my Zodiac sign and it is warm amber and coconut. And then we got Ryan's, which is Libra and that is leafy greens and cardamom. $2 each and they're really cute. I bought another one of these shower caddy things because the first one that we got was great and we just need more room because we have a lot of supplies. And then this is something I'm really excited about. So we got a set of glasses. We do have glassware, but it's almost all just pint glasses from breweries. We thought that if people came over and we wanted to have like nice glasses, it might be a good idea to buy some. But I'm really excited because I've just wanted ones that have like a little bit of like a texture to them. So this one, it comes with six small glasses and six large glasses. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's just like, it's a nice little texture to it. It's like these little like circles, but it's smooth on the outside. It, the circles are on the inside. So I don't know, I thought that was really pretty. I can't get to the long ones because they're on the bottom, but once I throw these in the dishwasher, I will show you what the bigger ones look like. Here, let me see, can you even see in the picture a little bit? But they like, they just have a nice little texture to them. So I thought those were really beautiful. And then we just got some, supplies that we needed. I got a couple of nail polish removers because I don't have any, even though I don't have any nail polish. And then I got the Sally Hansen Vitamin E cuticle oil, which is one of my favorites. And then we did get two laundry baskets just to have. And then we went to the grocery store and we picked up a giant watermelon, which one of my lifelong dreams Believe it or not, I've never done this in my life, but I've always wanted to sit on a balcony eating watermelon, which is my favorite fruit. Now I can achieve that dream. Although I realized when we got home that we don't have a knife to cut the watermelon. So when we go pick up our pasta and our rice, we might need to just get one like cheap knife just because I'm not gonna let that watermelon go bad. But anyway, I'm gonna put away all this stuff and then maybe we'll light this candle because it smells incredible. Ugh, it, it's actually like, it really just smells exactly like a blueberry cobbler and it's incredible. Incredible. Like it, it's making me hungry. On to the next. All right, just put everything away and I've got the dishwasher running so it's kind of loud, but here is the patio set. So we're gonna put this together now. Both chairs are officially done. They're pretty comfortable, but the table I wasn't too pleased with, to be honest. Let me show it to you. So here's the table. I don't know if you can tell. It looks really dirty 
on camera, but it's actually like all of these little spots on the inside of the glass. So I did email Wayfair and I asked if they could send a replacement just because, I don't know, I just, it looks so dirty. I know there's a little fingerprint. All the smudges and stuff on the inside of the glass, they're just, they're not great. So not too pleased about that. And then here's my beautiful chair that I'm absolutely in love with. I know I haven't cut off the tag yet, but it is so incredibly comfortable. This is exactly what I have been dreaming of. It is another day. I was supposed to have my new rug shipped today, so we ordered that on Wayfair as well. I wanted that to be the last thing that I showed you in this vlog, but there was an issue with the delivery. Wayfair has been giving us a hard time with delivering. That is now coming tomorrow, but also the movers are finally coming tomorrow, so we're gonna get all of our stuff finally, and I am just very excited. I'm actually like a little apprehensive. I'm not 100% sure why. I guess right now with none of our stuff, on the one hand, it's pretty boring, but on the other hand, I feel like it almost feels like a vacation. And once we have our stuff, I think it's gonna start to feel normal again. <laughs> so I don't know, that's kind of just a weird sensation, but I figure that's gonna be a separate video, like the unpacking vlogs. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of disjointed vlog over the course of the week, seeing us get new furniture and a lot of stuff from Target. <laughs> but thank you for joining me for yet another moving vlog in the series. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far and I hope you wanna come back for the next one. But yeah, that is it and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day or night. <laughs> Bye.